everybody, it's Melanie from TheHedonistCook.com and we're going to do a quick video on how to make French toast. So the first thing that you want to do, like I say every time, is get all of your ingredients together, get them measured, and we will get started. Okay, now that you have all of your ingredients out and measured, we can get started. This is really a simple recipe and um, I'm obviously showing a smaller amount than what the recipe I have on the website is. That recipe is to serve six. I live by myself, so I'm doing a much smaller recipe, but you do it the same, you just add more ingredients. So, first thing we do is we add the eggs in. I'm gonna whisk them together. Having a whisk is really helpful, um, not just for wet things, but also when you're combining dry ingredients for a batter or something like that. It's the best way to combine ingredients, so. Whisk that together. Then we're going to take our milk. Um, I'm using low fat milk. If you wanted to make it extra rich, you could add whole milk or maybe even a little bit of half and half if you have some for breakfast. So now we're just adding that in. So this is what it should look like once you have the eggs and the milk in. We're not worrying too much about beating it like crazy. The next thing we're adding is the maple syrup. We're going to add some vanilla, about a teaspoon, a teaspoon of um, sugar, and about a quarter teaspoon of salt. So I'm going to put just about two pinches in there. Mix that up. Clearly this is a very sweet recipe. Um, I wanted something sweet today. I could have gone for something maybe a little bit more savory, but I just was in the mood for basically eating dessert for breakfast. Then I'm going to be adding in a pinch of um, cinnamon because I really like cinnamon. So about this much. It's a strong flavor, but most people really like it, so just mix that in. Before you go any further, let's turn on our oven to medium-high. I'm going to be using a cast iron skillet for this, as you'll see in a second, because I think cast iron cooks the best, and we don't have anything in this recipe that's acidic that could possibly take off this seasoning, so there's no reason not to. So the next thing that we're going to do, when you're making this for a lot of people, you're going to want a 9 by 13 inch pan. I'm only doing two pieces of bread, so it's going to work fine in here. You're going to get your bread. You can basically use anything. The egg bread that you see in the grocery stores that's or in the restaurants, that works great. If you don't have that, French bread. I like sourdough sometimes. This is some fresh ciabatta from work that I got yesterday, so it's cut a little bit wonky, but um, it looks delicious. I think it's going to be great. So what you're going to do is set this in here. Make sure it soaks all the way through. Shake off the excess and put it in the pan. So I could have made some more. I have extra batter, but that's okay. So it's very heavy. We're going to set this aside and we're going to let it soak for about five minutes. We really want to make sure that we get it, let it get soaked all the way in. So once that's soaked in, our griddle or our skillet will be ready and we will bake it. So our bread has been soaking in the batter for about five minutes. It's ready to go in the skillet and get cooked. I'm going to add some butter. You can tell that it's definitely hot enough. Something else I forgot to mention is uh, I always cook my French toast in the oven for five to ten minutes. This serves two purposes. One, it makes sure that it's not soggy. It crisps up the outside, which I like. Secondly, normally you're making French toast for a lot of people, and it sucks to have one or two pieces out at a time and nobody gets to eat together. So if you want to heat your oven to about 300 and get um, a Pyrex bowl of whatever, a baking dish, you can put that French toast in the oven for five to 10 minutes so everyone can eat at the same time, and also it's gonna create a different um, taste to the edge. So let's take our pieces. So we're going to cook about four minutes on each side. I don't leave batter, a lot of times people will pour the batter in here and let it soak with it. 
but I cannot stand to feel like I have a whole fried egg around the outside of my French toast. I know some people really like it and that's great, but personally, I prefer just to have the batter on the bread, not on the outside. You can maybe see a little bit, there's a tiny bit of an edge, but it's not bad. So that's just the way that I do it while this cooks. Another great thing about this recipe is that you can modify it on my website. Hopefully that's where you're watching this, The Hedonist Cook. You can see the recipe that I put up there. But if you don't have cinnamon, you can leave it out. If you don't have maple syrup, you can leave it out. All these things can be adjusted to, um, to your taste. So hopefully, maybe if it's the first time that you've made French toast, follow the recipe like it's on the website. Then the next time, think about what you liked and what you didn't like, maybe make some changes. With something like French toast, it's really hard to screw up. I mean, it's a basic combination of eggs, milk, vanilla, and then any seasonings or flavors that you want. From there, you can't really go wrong. So it's a great thing to have for brunches. It makes people very happy, which is why I'm confused as to why I'm eating it alone this morning, but that is fine. <laughs> so let's check and see. Okay, it's ready to be flipped. That was less than four minutes, but... Mm. Okay. So, we're going to cook this for a few minutes more, and then when it's ready, we're going to put it in the oven. So our French toast is done. It is no longer wet. You can see that it's pretty dry. It's got nice color. So the last step, which I've never done before, but I'm kind of excited about, um, I read about it the other day, is to take our French toast and to put it in this pan and not only cook it for about 10 minutes, which I normally do, but to sprinkle some brown sugar on it, which, I mean, that's just decadent. It's really unnecessary. There's already sugar, maple syrup, everything in the recipe, but from what I read, it said that it kind of caramelized it, and that sounds really good. So here we go. Like I said, if you were doing this for a lot of people, you'd have a bigger container, maybe a cookie sheet to put this on, but we're gonna put this in the oven for about 10 minutes, and then we're gonna be ready to eat. Okay, so as you can see, our French toast came out great. Um, I did put it in the oven with the cinnamon sugar for 10 minutes. Um, I didn't see the caramelizing effect that I read about um, for this recipe, but I still think the 10 minutes was good because it did give it time to solidify the middle so we don't have soggy bread. It's really good all the way around. So I've got some real maple syrup and of course some butter. I put this together. It's actually Diet Coke, but I was hoping that it would look like coffee and then I realized that it probably doesn't because you can see the bubbles in it, so I'll just come clean. I'm out of coffee. And some maple syrup. Mm. If you don't have maple syrup on hand, um, you can try the Watkins maple syrup recipe on my website. It's really good. Let's try it. That's really good. I really like the bread. I wouldn't think that you would normally use ciabatta bread for French toast, but it made it really hearty and thick. Mm. The batter gave just enough flavor with that, um, with the cinnamon that we put on. And it's definitely a very sweet French toast with the addition of the sugar and the maple syrup in the batter and then maple syrup on top of it. It's definitely like eating dessert for breakfast, which can sometimes be good. Um, in the future, what I may do is I may do a, like a strawberry or raspberry preserve to put on top of it instead. Maybe just add a little bit of tanginess to match the sweetness of the batter. But overall, this is a delicious recipe and I cannot wait to eat the rest of it. So, thanks for checking out the video. You can see more, get recipes, and all sorts of other things on my website, thehedonistcook.com. Thanks.